Okay, so we've got to integrate cotangent x to the power of 7 dx. So we know we can't integrate this straight away, so we're going to have to work out some sort of uh, trick sum, maybe u substitution as well after that, and see where we end up. So first of all, let's have a look at cotangent x. So what we do know is cotangent x is cosine x over sine x. Okay, now looking for a trig identity, we know there's one for cosine squared and sine squared. So maybe we could say cotangent squared x, cosine squared x, sine squared x. That's still the same. And then working on the famous trig identity, cosine squared x plus sine squared x equals 1. Okay, so... Let's have a look at the cosine squared x and get that on its own. So then we've got cosine squared x equals 1 minus sine squared x. So now we've got cosine squared x, plug that in the top. So 1 minus sine squared x over sine squared x. Okay, right, now we're looking good. We can split the fractions now find ourselves a nice trig identity, keep this one in the box, that's separate, so 1 over sine squared x is cosecant squared x, and sine squared x over sine squared x is 1, so that's minus 1. Okay, so cotangent squared x is cosecant squared x minus 1. Let's plug that in, see what we got here now, so we can go cotangent x cotangent squared x cubed dx we've got the self here if we put in a u equals cosecant squared x we've got our thing here for the cosec cotangent so so cotangent squared x is the same as this so we'll let u equal cosecant x okay now we need to find the derivative of cosecant x so there's a standard derivative there for us that we know is du equals minus cotangent x cosecant x dx. That's the derivative of cosecant. Okay, well this is going to work out really good for us now. I can see this coming now. Let's just isolate the dx. So dx equals minus 1 over cotangent x cosecant x du. Okay, right. So what we can do now is cotangent squared x. We've got our identities here. Let's work something out here. So we can go cotangent x. Okay, that's good. Right, cotangent squared x is the same as cosecant squared x minus 1. So u is cosecant, uh, cosecant x. So what we can say is that u squared minus 1 equals cotangent squared x. So now we can just plug that in here. Now we go into the u world, u squared minus 1 cubed, and then our du is minus 1 over cotangent x And cosecant x, which we know is u. So we've got minus 1 over u, du. Okay, right. Now we're well on the way. Cotangent x, cotangent x. They cross out. So that's good. So we're now left, just left with a minus 1 over u multiplying by this. Okay, so now we just move the minus out front u squared minus 1 cubed. So we're just going to multiply that out, just foil it along. We'll get u squared minus 1 cubed. So we get u to the 6 minus um, 3u to the 4. And then we do plus 3u squared minus 1 du. And then don't forget we've got the u in the bottom, so we're still dividing by u. 
Okay, so now we just split all the fractions and see where we get to now. So now we've got minus integral u to the 5 minus 3u to the 3. 3u squared over u plus 3u minus 1 over u. du. Okay, right, that's looking good. Now we're ready to integrate, I reckon. So, integral of u to the 5. So let's work this out. Let's go down. Let's go down here. So we're going to come all the way along and go here. So integral of u to the 5, that becomes u to the 6 over 6. It's just simple power rule. So we've got u to the 6 over 6. 3u cubed, well we add 1 to the power and divide by 4. That becomes 3 quarters u to the 4. So that's also a minus 3 quarters u to the 4. 3u, that's just 3u squared divided by 2, so that's 3 over 2u squared. And then minus 1 over u, well that's just a simple logarithm. So that's minus ln u. Okay, right. Let's plug back in now. U is cosecant x. So plug in the u's for here. So we've got 1 over 6. Not forgetting our minus sign. So we can do a minus sign for all of it. So we've got minus cosecant x to the power of 6 over 6 minus three quarters co secant to the four x plus three over two co secant squared x minus natural log of co secant x okay right now let's put the minus sign through all these and then I will, could be somewhere close to our answer. So let's write it down on here. So minus and the minus. So let's put the, the positive at the front. So that's natural log of cosecant x minus cosecant to the power of 6x. So that's also a 6, so it's going to be minus 1 over 6 cosecant to the power of 6 x minus 3 quarters minus that's plus 3 quarters cosecant to the power of 4 x and then a minus and a plus becomes minus 3 over 2 cosecant squared x plus c. Okay, there we go ladies and gentlemen. That is our answer.